Udemy.com features thousands of courses. From JavaScript and jQuery to game design and branding, Udemy.com seems to have it all. But with the explosion of interactive learning sites, does this video-based platform still deliver? We're taking a look at Udemy.com today and the video starts right now. Oh, developers, I've tried recording this video so many times today and I always end up not recording the whole thing because I get so sidetracked on this platform. This is like the headquarters for pretty dangling things. We're going to talk about it. We're, we're going to talk about a lot of stuff with Udemy because this platform, if you're a self-taught developer, this platform is certainly on your radar. And if you're thinking of becoming a self-taught developer, this platform should be on your radar. The short and sweet of Udemy is that it's a video-based platform. It has thousands of courses on just about anything you can imagine. Now, as a web developer, my focus is on web development, but they have data science, they have DevOps, they have networking, any type of tech discipline you're interested in, they have it along with other stuff that I've really never explored, honestly, like design, health and fitness. They have a music section here for music production and music techniques and all this other stuff. Udemy is the biggest kahuna of all these learning platforms in terms of quantity. There are nearly 10,000 results for JavaScript. Let me go inside my account here and I'll show you a few of my courses I've collected over the years. This is but one of a few accounts. We're gonna talk about this in just a few minutes. I have multiple accounts because of their weird pricing schemes and different sales schemes, but this is one of my main accounts. So on my front page here, I have mostly web developer stuff. Uh, we have the Web Developer Bootcamp 2020, a classic course recently updated by Colt Steele. I have another uh, bootcamp type course here. I have some Anthony Alisea courses, two of them. Node, view, and the list goes on. Let me pop into the Web Developer Bootcamp and you can get a feel for what the interior of a typical course looks like. There are some readings throughout these courses, just showing you how to get involved with the community. But once you get into the actual material, they are all video based. So this format you see here is typical of all the courses on Udemy. You have your video here, you have your navigation here separated into sections and under each section are the related videos. So right now I am in section two, I'm on video 14. It's called the request response cycle and the video length really depends on your instructor. For Colt Steel, I know the videos are mostly pretty short, six minutes, 10 minutes, even going down here to the more advanced parts three minutes, seven minutes, seven minutes, nine minutes. So really manageable. One thing you may have noticed on Udemy too, especially with these web development courses, is that they are very long. Now, mind you, this is the video runtime, 63 total hours. The time you spend building projects, watching videos again, seeking out other resources, additional sources to help you on your coding journey, we're talking hundreds of hours. We're talking many months. Uh, and this isn't a problem with you. It's neither good nor bad, in my opinion. I'm just pointing out that when you invest in some of these courses, especially the bootcamp ones, be prepared for a time commitment spanning weeks or months. And that brings me to my first main point on Udemy. This is a massive platform. You will be filtering through a lot of of fluff and just downright bad courses. And pro tip, if you find an instructor that you like, stick with them. This platform is essentially a collection of thousands of contractors making thousands of courses. And so finding a top tier instructor, someone who has experience teaching, someone who maybe teaches on the outside so they know what techniques to use in a course, those people are really good at what they do. And when you find someone you like, stick with them. I have down here another Colt Steel course. This is the ultimate MySQL bootcamp. But as you can see, the layout is completely identical as the other course I just showed you. Now under here is the Q&A section. If you sign up for a Udemy course, feel free to ask a question, but don't expect it to be answered. Many of the questions do go unanswered and that can be frustrating just to give you a heads up. Let's go inside this one, the complete Node.js developer course, third edition by Andrew Mead. This guy's another great instructor. This is another massive course, 35 hours runtime just for the videos, 177 lectures. But if we go here, there's probably going to be a lot of questions. Okay, 18,000 questions. As you can see, not a lot of action on these questions. Let's talk about the Udemy pricing structure. I have to say the pricing is one of the most frustrating things about this platform. Uh, we all know you should never pay more than $14.99 for a course. And so for me, 
I find myself scrounging around for coupons and I'm wasting 20, 30 minutes at a clip trying to find a coupon. By the time I find one, Udemy says it's expired. Five minutes later, they're like, yeah, just kidding, it's $10. And then they were just kidding about the $10 thing. And it's just, it's, it's just a mess. So I have multiple accounts. Uh, sometimes I've just signed up for a new account just to get one course. This is one of my accounts that I signed up with when I needed an Angela U course to review. By the way, on my main channel, I have an exclusive interview with with Angela Yu. It's popping up on your screen right now. What a great interview. That was awesome to meet Dr. Yu and talk with her about this course. But I have multiple accounts like this where it's just one course. So I didn't have to pay 150 bucks for a course that we all know should cost 10 or $15 uh, based on the history of Udemy pricing. Honestly, objectively, a lot of these courses from these superstar instructors, they are worth $150 or even more with the value that they give you. But Udemy has conditions customers to believe that these courses are priced between $10 and $15. So whatever way you want to look at it, if you're trying to get a cheap course, you may just have to sign up with another account. So here are the pros of Udemy.com. It's very accessible. If you look around, if you sign up for a new account, however you want to do it, the courses are between $10 and $15. You just pay, check out, and get to watching the videos and start learning. So it is very accessible that way. The other pro of Udemy is that there are some amazing instructors. Some of them I have included on this video's thumbnail. These people are experts. We are very lucky to have them sharing their knowledge on such an accessible platform. Pro number three for Udemy, it is excellent for beginners. Again, because it is so accessible, you just pay and get into the course. So many of these courses are catered towards beginners and code newbies. And by the end of that first 15 minutes, you're already learning something. So it's economical and it's great for beginners who maybe aren't sure if they want to pursue software development or, you know, whatever tech field you're exploring. Because at the end of the day, if you decide you don't like it, you're only out 10 or 15 bucks. <laughs> Let's talk about the cons of Udemy.com. Number one, this platform is tutorial hell headquarters. There are so many courses here, so many interesting technologies that it is super tempting to just log on and watch another video. Oh, just one more video on GraphQL, yes. No, no, it, it's hellish, it's bad, it's no good. Con number two, good courses and instructors are out there but they're really hard to find. So it's kind of a double-edged sword because we have great instructors and great courses here, but you have to research, you have to sift through a lot of fluff to get to the good stuff. It's gonna take a time investment. Con number three, this platform is not interactive. It's video based, so you have to set up everything yourself. And I'm seeing platforms like Scrimba take video education to the next level where you can pause the instructor's video and actually jump in and start coding. It is such a cool way of doing video instruction. I've never seen anything like it. Conversely, on Udemy, you're on your own setting up these environments. Some of these courses are outdated, and when an NPM package isn't working or the instructions are incomplete, being a beginner, you need some positive reinforcement. And not to mention whether it works or whether it doesn't, setting this stuff up takes time. Whereas some of these other platforms like Educative, interactive code editors, you can do everything right in the browser. I mean, look at this. I have three pages of courses just on this account. That's enough for a year subscription at Treehouse or Codecademy or Educative even. And that brings me to con number four. The pricing scheme is kind of ridiculous. You have courses that retail for $100, $150. Just kidding, double kidding, double negative. Wait, what? It's so inconsistent and it can be frustrating. Pecking around for coupons or signing up for a new account just to get another course. That said, all in all, I think Udemy is a must-stop destination. Like I mentioned earlier, it's a really newbie-friendly platform. And if you decide you don't like it, you don't have this huge financial investment. And you know what's so funny? I actually interviewed a coding bootcamp student who said she thinks Udemy courses have more educational value than boot camps, at least the boot camp she attended. Check out that article on my blog section on realtoughcandy.io. It's an interview with Sarah the Dev. It's kind of crazy how much information they can put in these courses and make it so affordable for people. Is this platform going to make you a developer? Heck no, there's a lot more stuff outside of just the technical skills that you will learn in these courses, but it's a great start. Udemy.com, hope you guys enjoyed this review. If you did, hit a button, don't care which one it is or gently press it, your preference. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for more tech course reviews. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.